this video. I don't want anybody thinking that I'm a perfect human being. Because nobody is perfect. And I'm not claiming to be a perfect person. Um, but I'm watching these MGTOW videos, right? And I hear a lot of these guys saying um, they're going MGTOW because they've realized that women only want them for their resources and they only they're only in relationships with them for their for security um, um, and I also wanted to note that um, so what what happened to what has happened to the spiritual bond in a relationship? Is that becoming non-existent? When I first met my guy, um, you know, he, he would, he would take me out somewhere. But his car, his car was basically like breaking down. But I didn't, you know. It's like we we grew together. We grew together. We bonded together, and that's all that matters. We went through hard times together. We went through some struggles. We went through um, minor a minor struggle to get to where we are now. Um, and I've soulfully bonded with my guy. I've spiritually and soulfully bonded with my guy. Um, even in my previous relationship, I wanted to stay with him. I did not want to leave him. But he, um, my ex at the time, he was the one who was saying, why do you want to stay with me and all of that? And of course, um, he was he was two to three years younger than I was. And I met him at a college. But anyway, while I was with while while I was in a relationship with my ex, we were together for about two two to three years. And, um, I had, I had no intentions of leaving him because I thought that I was, I was so naive to, um, to the thought that, okay, I was going to stay with this guy. I was going to marry this guy because I felt that I was so in love with him. I did not want to leave him at that time. And I was about 20, 21 years old when I got into my first relationship. Um, and my, the, you know, the, the guy before, um, my boyfriend now, he, I don't know, like, I think he loved me, but he had, he had other endeavors that he wanted to pursue, so he, he broke up with me, and I was devastated. I was, I was really, 
I was really in a in a depressed state when he did break up with me. And then and then when I met um my boyfriend, my present boyfriend now, we're we're still together. Um but it's like even if I wanted to leave him, it would be hard because he because he reminds me he reminds me too much of my spirit father. The way the way his head is, the way the way his head is shaped, the way his eyes look, the way his facial structure is, like it's just like a dead on image of of my spirit th- of my spirit father Thorin the beard and everything so and I love my soul family so much um it would be hard for me to it would be hard for me to let any of them go Because it's come to the point to where I'm resonating with my guy on a sp- on a strong spiritual level. He he's making more of an in- of an income than me, and we're not we're not rolling in the dough or anything like that either. We're just simply we're simply living like common people. And I'm watching these MGTOW videos, and it's it's sad to listen to the guys. Um, it's sad to listen to them say, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship or get married because um, I know for a fact that she, she's only going to use me for, the, for resources and... Um, and for stability and security it's just it's just sad to listen to them it's just sad to hear them say that it's like um It's like they can't they can't trust them with just being with their natural self or something like there has to be like there's just some sort of like secret hidden agenda that these women are going to play on them and it shouldn't be like that. So I was I, while I was at work, I was reading about some comedic Egyptian gods and goddesses, and I've made um, I've texted down in my phone um, comedic versions of my soul family. Um, let's see if I can remember all of them. So. Killy, Killy it would be Konsu. Um, Philly is Shu. Thorin is Ra. My guy is Horus slash Amun. Melot, my spirit mother, who is with Thorin in the fifth dimension. She is Newt. Dis is Moot. Uh, Frerin is basically my guy. He's he's like an aspect of Frerin, so. And they're all they're all related. Oh, and I would be an aspect of um, the comedic the comedic deity Hathor. 
So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm going to end this video now because it's getting pretty long. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.